really focusing on pre-talks. So what is a pre-talks? Yes. So I coined this term because I have so many patients who've come to me that they've tried to detox prior to coming and it, it went terribly. So they maybe they had headaches from it or brain fog or joint pain or muscle pain. Most of my patients already have these symptoms, but then they got exacerbated from the detox, mm. right? So detox causes temporary inflammation that just comes with the territory. So now if these patients are already in a state of inflammation, if we try to detox them, it's just going to further increase the inflammation, right? So their mitochondria, instead of creating um, ATP for cellular use, they're now creating external ATP. That's the cell danger response. It's stage one of the cell danger response. They're in a state of oxidative stress and inflammation, and that's supposed to be temporary. But in a lot of these patients, it's not temporary anymore because they've had so many insults to their system. Those insults include environmental toxins and a multitude of infections. So now they're in the state. Yeah. So would these patients know that they needed a pretox if they had tried to do a detox and got sicker? Basically, these hypersensitive, highly reactive humans. I yeah, and the thing is they don't know. So they try a detox. Oh. And then they come and you've probably had this happen too. They say, don't, please don't put me through a detox. I don't, I don't want to do that again. I've tried it. It was horrible. Then I say, okay, we've got to take a step back and, and try to understand why this happened to you. And, and then let's prepare you. And that, that's a very deep and personalized process mm-hmm. for each patient. So talk to me about who are the people who typically need a, a pretox? I think we've landed on it, but I want to really drill into that. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a caveat, right? So our bodies were designed to eliminate toxins and cellular waste naturally, but we didn't evolve to catch up with this burden of environmental toxins in our environment. That's just not how, how we were designed. We haven't caught up with that yet. I don't know if we ever will, right? So this constant exposure to toxins results in an increased toxic load in people. And then more research shows, I'm sure you're talking about this on the summit too, more research shows that environmental toxins, chronic low-grade exposures do cause autoimmunity and they do cause immune dysregulation. So the patients who suffer from complex chronic illnesses I'm finding, actually, this is the majority of my patients, they need pretox first because they're coming in a highly inflamed state in a state of oxidative stress. So this includes patients who have autoimmune conditions, fibromyalgia, um, chronic Lyme, long-haul syndrome, post-infectious illnesses, all these mystery cases, mystery illnesses. Usually underneath that is oxidative stress and inflammation that's driven by a combination of environmental toxins and infections. I'm laughing as you're saying this, Nafisa, because I'm thinking about, you know, the patients who walk in and they say, I have, you know, this list of diagnoses and they're all chronic. And I'm thinking what you have is inflammation and mitochondrial dysfunction and and toxic exposure and stress. So I'm thinking of it as a totally different way. And I'm laughing as you say these things, because I feel like we're on the same page that, that you're not your diagnosis. You, you, what's happening underneath that is that your body is, is in a state of stress and oxidative stress. So, okay. So before we dive into what a t- pretox is, I think you and I are also on the same page because I'm not a fan of, I don't believe that quick fixes work. And uh, you alluded before we got on camera to uh, quick cleanses, detox programs. Talk to me about the difference between a pretox, a detox, and a quick cleanse. Okay, so so when when we're doing a pretox, we're really taking into the consider taking into consideration why the patient can't handle that detox. Not only that, but why do they have these nebulous these nebulous symptoms that have been very very hard for doctors to pin down? Usually, these patients are given waste basket diagnoses, or there's no diagnosis, or they're told, this is all in your head. We can't figure this out. So we're going to send you to psychiatry, right? So right away, we know there's something else going on and you're inflamed. You're in oxidative stress. We can test this on the labs. And of course I do. I'm sure you do also. How inflamed are you? How much um, oxidative stress are you under and why? So I'm looking for the root causes. Now, if um, if the patient has stress 
in their organs of elimination, their liver, their kidneys, uh, their lungs, then I know they're not ready for a detox. And, and I want to pre-tox them first. Um, and, and what, what were you, you, you asked something. Well, I want to know about the things that people think of typically like a juice cleanse or a three-day fast or some type of quicker program that a lot of people buy into thinking, oh, I'm going to detox, but it makes them sicker or it doesn't get them where they want to go. What's your, how do you compare that to detox? Okay. So, so first of all, everything I was just talking about, these things need to be evaluated for the person's not ready for a quick, a quick fix detox, because when that happens, we might start flushing toxins and we're going to increase stress in the body. We're going to increase inflammation. We're going to put more stress on the mitochondria, right? That might even cause underlying infections to, to, to surface and become more active. So, First of all, we want to investigate why. Second of all, a lot of these times, these quick, uh, these quick fixes are are not. Um, they're not. They're not taking into account what the person is currently exposed to. Maybe they have an exposure of mold, and therefore mycotoxins in their house. Maybe they're not taking into account um, heavy metals. Maybe the person has osteoporosis. When we have osteoporosis, lead that's been stored in the bones gets gets released as the bones turn over. And so this needs to be medically supervised and the quick fixes are not medically supervised. And so when you're not understanding what's happening in the patient at the medical level, it's just going to fail, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think that a lot of people think of detox as a a casual thing to do, but I I actually consider it to be medical in nature. Not only that, we want to test the environmental toxins, their genes of detoxification, their genes of inflammation. How high are your load of metals? Do you have an acute exposure of metals? Do you have a body burden of metals? How about pesticides, glyphosate, mycotoxins, like I mentioned before? There's so much to discover that's pertinent to each patient that's just not regarded in a quick fix detox 